got here. So it's Thursday. I came came home yesterday. Had my uh, supper, tea, dinner, whatever you want to call it. I went to sleep on a swimming chair, like an old git. So anyway, so we're out. I've got. Some nice blueberry muffins, they were on our phone in the co op, so we've got a couple of them. It's just over six degrees ish, so it's coming down the temperature slowly. Not super cold yet, and got snow, so we're alright. Um, got a big heap of bags, freezer type bags, I guess you'd call them, but um, um, I was saying to the Rip Fix that um, I'm a forgetful bugger. Um, so I always find this sort of thing really useful. I'm not one of those people that can throw everything in a box and remember where everything went. Just I'm just not one of those people. Certain things I can, but hey ho. So I've got a heap of those, nice lot of those. That's what you can write on, so that's handy. Um, so tonight's going to be get it up off the floor, get the, um, the body bolts off underneath. Um, now I've got the... Uh, the gearbox tunnel and bolts um, so I can get the I don't need to take the gearbox tunnel out actually I might just take the, the gear gate the gear stick gator out and then I can uh, get the gear stick out give me some clearance may take the steering column out give me some clearance but depends what mood I'm in um, there's two bolts actually it's the anchors for the, um, the seat belt strap just two ring ring anchors got to come out from inside um, and that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, speedo cable. Yeah, speedo cable, that's the only thing. Um, and two bolts. You can either get for, to um, get to them from the boot or from the take the back seat out. So, um, yeah. So let's get stuck in. Let's get the uh, batteries charged up with a couple of booby muffins first and a bit of, bit of home of coffee. And uh, get stuck in. Alright guys. Okay, look for people that are <coughs> going to be doing triumphs or whatever. Um, this is basically inside the boot. Car, boot. Um, you've got those across. Basically go across the top of the axle. Um, there's a number chassis across beam that goes across. So you've got two. And they're 3 8, three eight uh, fine. There's a couple in the um, each corner. A lot of water in there, but it's not good. Um, each corner, the petrol tank's got to come out. That's the one that I made a few years ago. Um, so that's got to come back out just so I can get to the bolts. I could probably get to them if I wanted to, but there's no point struggling. There's only a couple of bolts anyway, so just want to come out. Or at least come out to one side. And then we got um, so that's uh, four at the back. And if I get on the floor without falling out, it's over tech or whatever the PC way of saying that is. Oh. I'm quite pleased though, it's looking underneath, it's not looking too bad still. It's been a few years. We've got um, the outriggers. We've got one, two, three. So you've got three bolts at each end of those. Uh, one bolt at each end of those, sorry. So six in total for the floor. And then there's um, normally, I think, three that go across the seam, which one's on the top of this outrigger here. The go through that would normally join the two um, floor panels, floor pans up. So not a great deal, really. And then it can come off um, the sill panel. It's got some uh, tags that are on um, that just need to be that need to come off. Um, okay, let's get these bolts out. Oh, sorry, and then there's the, um, let's get back indoors. Oh. Oh. Should be able to see that without the light, I suppose. And then there's the um, two seat belt mountains. There, look. They just unclip like that. And the two, two seat belt mounts are just screwed in. If it does it, it focuses. Excuse me for sniffing. And then uh, 
handbrake cable. I've already disconnected. I feel I found this brush, look. That's where it was. Um, I've already taken the um, disconnected brake pipe. There's one brake pipe goes across to the bulkhead behind the heater and down to a um, junction down there. I've already disconnected that and drained the, drained the fluid out. And I've taken the uh, clutch mask and they're completely off. Um, because I wanted to, I guess. Thought it'd be easier. I didn't want to break because there's nothing wrong with the pipe, so I didn't want to didn't want to damage the pipe. So, excuse me. Um, so that's it. Yeah. So I've just squeeze those bolts out, and uh, we'll be ready for the lift. Well, I've got a um, one of the mountain bolts is spinning. Uh, it's got a captive or a plate, I guess you'd certainly call it. Captive nut on a plate. Um, these seals are just bolted on, so uh, screwed on. So I'm just going to unscrew it, and that'll let me see the um, mountain back here that's playing up. So I'll just get that off, and we're going to have another look. Okay, so with that, um, that seal plate off, you can actually see. Ooh, see mounts you see them there so I forgot about this one there's um, a couple of extras I'd forgotten about that are, so that's um, that's what you're left with a little plate up inside the, the, the actual body mount um, I haven't tried these ones yet but it's the back one here that's uh, being a little rascal so just uh, jam some up in there and Um, stop the bugger spinning, so I'll just do that, clamp it up and get her out, so, okie dokie, so anyway, yeah, so we're back to what I was going to say, there's eight, eight bolts, eight, two, three, four, yeah, eight bolts totally in the floor, um, going upwards, body mount wise so so I apologise for that got that wrong old age again okay we're under the back of the car um, I've unhooked it from the straight piece the hat sorry the handbrake cable next um, all the body mount bolts out um, I've unhooked it from the straight cable that comes from the handbrake lever then we got um, um, part of the fulcrum there as a bolt, tab washer to come back, uh, and then unhook them from the so I can get the right side of this. Uh, can you see that? The, the um, So I've unhooked it from there. Then the other thing is that is the uh, what's the handbrake cable disconnected? Is the uh, oh, fuel pipe which I can't see from here, but let's see if I can get out for it. Just comes down. Oh. Wobbly can. Just comes down through the floor. Um, you can see I've moved the fuel tank so the. There's no drain or anything showing, but this uh, fuel pipe's coming down through, so that needs disconnecting. And, uh, and that is it. It can come off, um, I think, pretty sure. Um, I may need to take the rear valance off, because it might get in the way, but I'll, um, I'll check that as I go along. Uh, looks like I might need to. It won't raise enough, but... Um, we'll see, we'll see how we get on. But yeah, so it's basically the handbrake on the um, accelerator at the uh, speedo cable. So yeah, tomorrow night um, we'll go for the lift. See you guys. Mmm, shortbread biscuit. Dope! Hi guys, so. <clears throat> 
I'm ready. It's, uh, it's actually Saturday now. Just, would you believe? I fell asleep again yesterday. Um, I need to uh, make a little trolley for the body. But once it's um, when it's off the uh, chassis, so I can move it around. So I've got um, a couple of bits that I've uh, retrieved out of the scrap bin at work. So I'm going to um, knock them up into a bit of a trolley thing. Uh, so I'm going to do that quickly. Don't have to be uh, super duper because it's not very heavy. This thing, the uh, the body anyway, when it's uh, a couple of loops can lift it. So um, get that done a bit quick, and then um, lift it off, drop it on the trolley, push the lot outside. Job's good. Okay, okay. That's um, stuck together, um, suitably rickety, but uh, holds my weight when I jump up and down on it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, excuse me, put a PVC pipe over the end of the, uh, over that antenna scraper, isn't it? Hopefully that bit will go up inside where the, where the spring is at the moment, so I don't mind it being a bit high, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's it, let's stop yibber yabbering and get on with it, I think. Well, as you can see, I've got the tunnel out, so I could... Uh, the tunnel's in the back there. Um, so I'll get the gear stick out, because it's going to it's gonna foul, foul, I think, so I've took it out anyway. Uh, next step, I'm going to just uh, take this um, aluminium plate off the top of the seal. Um, so I can, uh, I'm going to bolt this piece of angle up through where the seam is. Can you see the seam there? Because um, as soon as I lift, it's going to spread and could have all sorts of calamities. So uh, just do that quickly. A couple of um, five six bolts. I should stop it pulling, you know, pulling apart. So okay. Okay, I made a start with my lift. Um, wooden beam across, chain pull and a jack under the back so hopefully I get enough room to um, um, roll it past the wheels and the wheel arch so we'll find out in a minute. As per normal, I'm sort of battling with the size of my garage, but um, with a bit of luck, I should better get the uh, the frame underneath. Just about. So we'll uh, we we'll see how we get on. Okay, it's sat on the frame at the back, so it's just uh, dropping down at the front now. So. That seemed to work, just about. 
Tis a real bugger having a um, small garage, but there you go, that's all I've got, so that's um, just put some stop blocks on the back, stop it uh, ramming into the Austin that's behind, but you can't see it, but and I'm just about closing the garage door. So happy. The good thing with this is it's pretty light, so you can you can manhandle it. So <coughs> excuse me. Hook it up. Um, that's it for me for the end of the day, to the end of uh, Saturday. So um, these are the ones that um, I believe uh, to be out, to be in the wrong place. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, um, I'm going to pull the engine and gearbox out because I'm, I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to freshen up the engine, get it painted nice, etc., etc. Um, I've got a Ford. Uh, type 9 5 speed gearbox to put in it, which is um, a few adaptions to put to do. So, uh, okay, we'll catch up with you. Uh, I'm going to do a service, drop the oil and uh, filter, etc., on the Austin tomorrow because it's done nearly 500 miles now. And uh, check it over to make sure the engine's alright. Um, and uh, hopefully, after that, I'll get the engine and box out of this and the bonnet. The bonnet's going to go outside and uh, Sit um, in front of the uh, front of the body. So anyway, it's enough for me. Go and watch a bit of for the bit of telly and upload this at the same time. So we'll uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Bye bye.